The objective of this practice is to produce quality fillet welds on 125 thousandths inch aluminum in the overhead position. The materials, equipment, and power source settings are the same as previous practices and are listed in your workbook. Although the gas flow rate is raised to 40 cubic feet per hour for overhead position welding. The workpiece for this practice is the same as for previous lap and T-joint exercises. Check the joints for tight fit up and wire brush them thoroughly while still hot to remove harmful oxides. A small tab may be tack welded onto the assembly for convenience in clamping the piece in the overhead position. Because the argon shielding gas is heavier than air, it has a tendency to bleed from the joint in the overhead position. This will result in porosity or sooty inclusions. By using the prescribed 45 degree work angle and 20 to 30 degree push travel angle, and making sure the gas flow rate is increased to 40 cubic feet per hour, these defects can be avoided. Move smoothly and quickly along the axis of the joint with no hesitations, or the weld bead may sag. Proper travel speed should keep the electrodes slightly ahead of the center of the puddle and burning off about 1 16th inch above the puddle. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex and 1 quarter inch wide. The T-joint is welded with the same work and travel angles as the lap joint. Move smoothly along the joint without hesitation, taking care to maintain the proper gun angles. The finished bead should look similar to the lap joint, one quarter inch wide and flat to slightly convex inspect the wells and continue practice.